Okay, we need we need stamina. Drink, drink, run, drink and run, drink and run, drink and run. Oh no, we're bleeding. Stop running. It's not allowed. We're in bad shape, man. We got laceration, we got an abrasion, we got an infection. This is just a good day here in Ravenhurst. It's exactly what you should expect from this mod. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue working on the quest. So I spent uh, the night uh, organizing all my inventory, and so uh, I got, you know, stuff everywhere. <laughs> I know where it's at. I'm not going to go through and show it to everybody because, you know, it's just inventory stuff. Uh, all of these bags here are empty. These are going to be like my drop chests slash bags uh, during the day and then, you know, get stuff organized at night. Uh, then what do we do? I made some, uh, I made a few more frames. I made a few more nails. I'm going to put these over here and then just kind of sat around and waited until morning. Um, they, you know, again, I mentioned this in the last episode. I'm not really used to just sitting around doing nothing. I mean, I, I ended up watching a video or, you know, like that. So I did something, but it's just kind of a, a different way to play the game. Uh, so we're having food issues as usual, um, and I still haven't really been able to cook anything other than like insects and stuff. Well, I guess we could do, I guess we could do some meat or a bug kebab. We don't have any carrots for bug kebabs. Um, charred red meat, charred white meat. That we could probably actually do. Let's um, yeah, let's grab that. We probably don't have enough pieces for this though, huh? I wish the, the Ravenhurst authors didn't stick with the... Well, hold on a sec before I say something. Yeah, so they they, they dumbed it down to three meat, which is a little bit better, but I, I still think it should be one, one, one per. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense that you should have three pieces of raw meat to make one piece of cooked meat. Um, but anyways, it is what it is. Okay, so this, get, this will give us a little bit of sustenance uh, to start our day off with. And um, do I have in my medical, which is this here, I do have a vitamin. So we could actually eat a vitamin and then eat this sandwich too. So let's grab those two things, turn this off. And then uh, this gives us seven food. It's going to take some water away, but we have other ways to deal with that. Okay, so that gets that up. I think we better eat this sandwich, too. We're going to probably need to to get into a, a position where we can function okay. Even that's still not going to get our food all the way back up. It'll it'll help. It should take most of the edge off for now. Okay, cool. So we got that done. Um, let's see. We'll put this in there. Now, that made us a little thirsty. So this is our beverage container, and we have exactly one thing that we well we have the goldenrod i kind of want to hang on to the goldenrod though so let's just drink this oh i guess i have some some cans of soda too uh one of these is empties yeah okay so let's put the empties there and um so let's drink a can of soda just to give us a little more hydration too to offset the the charred meat Oh my goodness, so even with everything we ate, we're still not doing too good on, on the hunger hunger front. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's just move on and make the best of it. So one of these should have some coin in it. Yeah, let's take that with us so we can check vending machines as we come across them. And let's get started now with the quest. So uh, we need to make... Uh, a little bit more leather, uh, three more in a particular, and I do have, in one of these guys, I do have some actual leather scraps. So you can either use the leather scraps or you can use hide. Uh, so let's make three more of these, and then that will satisfy this next step in the tanning rack quest. And then we have to go, we have to go get some more screws for one of the quests. Oh my goodness, that takes a while. That's right, we got to stay in the damn thing too, don't we? Okay, um... Yeah, we got to go get some more screws, and we have to get... There's something else we have to get, too. I can't remember what it is, but we have to wait until this is finished so we get credit for it. 
Okay, that's done. Uh, now it wants us to craft a forge by getting all of that crap. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let's go into the the quest thing here and see where we're at. So we here we need to find beer to finish that, which we'll be on the lookout for. Craft the campfire. This is where we need twine and I guess just twine in the farm tables where we need the screws. So twine and screws is what we're looking for. Um, for these two, and then we need to and beer. Okay, so beer, uh, twine, and screws for those, and then this we have to start. So, advanced bellows, casting tunnel, and forging plates. Those are not normal vanilla items. So let's see. We this is what we need for the advanced bellow. Um, we need twenty leather in total. Can I? Turn the rest of this into leather, too. Yeah, we might as well. I don't have to stay in the crafting inventory now because we're no longer looking for credit. And we have one piece of leather in here, which we'll put there. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Boy, I, you know, I, I, got to, I got to thinking about something. You know, it's day six, and I have released... How many episodes have we released now? Um, let's see. Six. So this is episode seven, and we're still only freaking level three. <laughs> we're still only level three. Uh, where does it show that? Yeah, right here, level three. I mean, that is just crazy. The progression is so slow in here. But part of that is because, you know, I didn't really quite know what to do until a couple episodes ago. Um, you know, so that is part of it, but still. Um, okay, so I guess we just need to work on these things one at a time. Um, it's the it's the leather. Wait, what happened? It's the leather that we need for uh, for the bellows. Okay, the stone's not a big deal. The bellows we need to make the soil we just dig, but it's the forging plate and the casting tunnel. Let's look at that now. So I'm assuming that stuff's in here. Here is it not in here? Forging plate, casting tunnel. I'm not seeing them show up there. Is that something we do in our own inventory? Okay, where do we make this forging plate and casting tunnel business? Oh, it's because I had frame, right? There we go. Okay, so a casting tunnel is just two pipes. That's easy enough. And a forging plate is forged iron and plant fibers. Okay, let's do the casting tunnel. We can do that right now. Because I happen happen to have some piping here. We'll grab those. This might be a largely a crafting episode, you guys, because, I mean, I'm so stuck, uh, I guess is the word, until, you know, because i got to get this stuff to advance. So hopefully you guys find this interesting uh those of you who you know want to see how the mod works i'm sure you do anyway but yeah it's just the nature of this mod and how it works it's just really interesting okay so we got the casting tunnel and let's stick that in uh here some of the these two flashlights i'm probably going to actually sell okay the forging plate needed iron and yeah, so we don't have any any actual iron ingots, so that's going to take a little bit longer to do. Yeah, we're going to need 15 iron. My goodness. I mean, I don't even have a wrench yet. So how are we going to come across 15 iron unless we buy them, I guess? Whew, okay, advanced bellows. Let's look at that again. Um, So we have the nails. We might have the duct tape, so it's really just the leather that we're going to need. So if we harvest some more couches and stuff and or kill some more critters, uh, let's actually grab this leather too and uh, keep it over here so we keep kind of the questing things in this uh, this bag. All right. Um, so that gets to the pipes. Do we have five duct tape? If we do, it would probably be in this one here. We don't have any duct tape at all. We can make up to three... I'm assuming. Can we make duct tape in our own inventory in this mod? We cannot, but we should be able to make it in here. 
Okay, so we got three of the five of the duct tape that we need. Yeah, man, and I thought Undead Legacy was slow progression. Holy crap. <laughs> this is really brutal. <laughs> I haven't, you know, the jury's out in my own mind as to whether or not it's a little too grindy. I haven't really decided yet. So I'm going to just keep going with it for now and we'll see. You know, we're waiting on 25 screws. We have 16. Let's move those over as well. I mean, you know, I'm all for, for working hard to obtain something because it's more rewarding, but there is a, a limit, uh, you know, for that. So, okay. Anyways. So yeah, we need two more duct tape and we need how much more leather? Uh, 11 more leather to get the bellows. The rest of it's not a big deal. Okay. So I think uh, we've done everything we can do here at the base. Let's go out and about. We're looking for twine. We're looking for beer. We're looking for more screws. We still have to kill zombies with a bone knife. Uh, we're just kind of working on that quest as we go. Let's go stop by the trader. Actually, I'm going to come back up here for just a second. And I'm going to grab a couple of things that I want to sell. Um, uh, you know, the thing is, is, I don't know. Are we going to need these for other recipes? Just those two mods. Okay. I mean, you come across flashlights all the time. Let's just sell one of them, I guess. Uh, I want to keep the dye in the paint, so... I guess I didn't have as much stuff to sell as I thought I did. Oh, shit. That was lucky. Okay, let's run over here. Uh, sell to this guy. Check his vending machine. See if it's reset. I don't even know if it does reset. Our food, uh, you know, cap... Or, I mean, our stamina cap is down because of our food situation so that's not good but yeah this uh <laughs> this mod is a grind man holy crap it's a grind <laughs> okay let's close that check the vending machine see we can we could get the boiled water it still gives us a 10 percent chance of dysentery but yeah if this is not resetting is it something that probably just resets once a week maybe which i guess would kind of make sense all right, let's see your inventory. We can't stay in here too long because do we want to spend that much money on duct tape? Boy, I don't know. Oh, I forgot. We can't sell stuff. We can only buy stuff in the mod. Oh, that's right. Son of a... Okay. Um. I, I want to save my money for vending machines when we come across them, so... Let's go. All right, so... What are we after? Twine, beer, screws, duct tape. That's what we need. Twine, beer, screws, duct tape. Let's pick up more trash for... Uh, for storage. Oh, shit. Oh, good. We got some... Uh, we got some pills. You know, trash is actually probably going to be our best bet for the, a lot of that stuff. So we need to just be checking every trash we come across. Uh, let's go over and, and try the the food place here. I don't think we've actually been inside of it. We've kind of been outside of it, but not inside of it. And see if we can get away from the majority of these zombos. They're all kind of working their way over here, aren't they? Okay. There's not any, really any food options in here. Oh, we need beer. Okay. So that takes care of our beer uh, uh, thing. Let's buy the yucca juice smoothie and the coffee. <clears throat> and um, our hydration is actually not in really bad shape, though. So uh, we're going to hold off on that. And uh, yeah, let's just see what we can do in here bef without getting the whole kit and caboodle after us here. Empty gas cans. I got us a wheel and plastic. Okay, we'll take that. I'm not going to loot those signs. I can't see any practical reason for them.
Okay, Steve the zombie sees us. Let's go back this way. I don't even remember exactly how to get in here. I've done it before, but it's been such a long time. All right, let's take care of Marlene. Ronnie McDonnie, where did you come from? Oh, he's mad. He's angry. Ah, stamina. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good. Stamina. Okay. Run away. Run away. Run away. Oh, no. We got a raven. Not good. Or, I mean, buzzard or whatever the hell it is. Whew. Damn. Okay, we got a skill point. <laughs> that was rough. Uh, let's take one of these now. Because we have things to counter the thirst. Right, let's run this way. I don't know if I have five applications of bleed on Steve or not. Uh, we do now. Okay, he's dead. Let's kill these two. Okay, we need, we need stamina. Drink, drink, run, drink and run, drink and run, drink and run. Oh no, we're bleeding. Take advantage. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> this is so rough. <laughs> okay. Stop running. It's not allowed. Okay, let's get these reloaded. We're in bad shape, man. We got laceration, we got an abrasion, we got an infection. This is just a good day here in Ravenhurst. It's exactly what you should expect from this mod. Okay. Um, so laceration means we need a sewing kit, which I don't have on me. Rubber strips. Uh, let's just take that now because we're probably really thirsty from drinking that or eating that pill. All right, let's go back to here. We're lucky, man. When I saw that, that vulture, I thought that was pretty much going to wrap it up for us. Okay, let's take care of Darlene here. Okay, we softened her up and killed her with the bone knife so we get credit for the quest. Okay, she did. Come on, twine. Let's harvest this for the rubber strips. There's something underneath that? I don't think so. Oh, come on. Give us some food. Please give us some, like, beef stew or something good. That's not food. Okay. Steve, I just killed you. Come on, man. Cut me some slack here. Chop, jump up here. Hey, how did you get up here? How did he get up here? Oh, from there. Okay. We should probably make that not happen. What the hell? Seriously, dude? Okay, I think things are getting a little too hot here at the drive-in. 
Let's see if we can go somewhere else. These guys will not leave me alone. The rude zombies. We just need to get away from the big group of them. You know, onesie twosies we can handle, but when they start converging on you, it's just doesn't work so well. We have to take care of this infection before it gets to 5%. I think I have a honey back at the base. We should probably just do that now. At least these attacks stagger the Zeeks. Um, okay, he's dead. Um, which is very helpful, you know. All right, let's go back to the house really quick. Let's go back to the roof really quick <laughs> and get a honey. Um, I don't know if I have a sewing kit for the laceration, so that sucks. And it hurts, too. Okay, do we have a honey... Uh, not in there. Oh, thank God. Okay, we got a honey here. Okay, so that took care of the infection issue. Put these in here. Um, laceration. Do we have a sewing kit? Oh, we do. Look at that. Hallelujah. We're saved. Until the next time it happens. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. So, hey. You know what? We're... In better shape than we were a couple minutes ago. All right, let's just put the rest of this stuff in the drop chest. I'll worry about sorting it out later tonight because I'm not going to have anything else to do. Um, so we should probably hang on to those because we might need them. Who knows? Uh, we need oh, we need the beer for that the trap thing. So let's do that now while we're here. Um, insect trap beer. So what do we need? What else do we need? Oh, an empty water jar. Okay, let's go grab a jar. And then I guess this thing catches insects for us automatically. Okay. Now, let's look at the quest. Catch more insects. Um, gather beer. Gather insects. Craft insect trap refill. Okay, now that you've tasted the buggy little morsels, I know you can't get enough of it. An alternate to punching grasses, leaving insect traps out using honey or beer. Try it. Craft a bear trap and some and some refill for it and place it. You can use the refill on the trap to upgrade it after you have taken the insects you caught. So, um, do we just put it anywhere or does it have to be in the grass? It doesn't say one way or the other. Let's just put it over here. Maybe we'll catch a spider, have a tasty spider. Fill with beer to collect insects. So, it, wait, what? Isn't it already filled with beer? We just used beer to make it. I don't get it. Here, let's look at the quest again. So we needed beer to make it, but we need another beer to actually fill it, I guess. Okay, I think that's what that means. Gotcha. All right, now that I understand that, we'll be continue to be on the lookout for beer. All right, let's sort our things. Uh, we can make another trash bag, but I'm not going to do that right now. We'll do it later. Anything else we can drop off right now? I want to keep the coffee with me. Let's just put that down there so we have that. And let's go. All right, so we continue to look for twine and screws and duct tape. And we did find the beer, so that's good. All right, now, where the hell can we go where there's not a bazillion Zombaruskis around? Let's go Let's go over here. There's some floating around that way. Maybe they've wandered away from the... How have I not looted this yet? Right in front of the house. Uh, maybe they've moved away from the... How have I not looted this yet? It's right in the front of the house. <laughs> oh my god, we got the screws! I think that's all we needed. Right there in the house, too, man. Some more lock picking kits, too. Freaking beautiful thing. All right, let's get back up here. Oh, just fell in the, about fell in the hole. Trying to remember not to do that. We should probably remove this just because it is a trigger. Oh, by the way, I was going to tell you guys, I heard something, some really scary scream thing happened during the night. It wasn't a normal screamer scream. It was 
more frightening than that, but nothing actually happened. Maybe it was just ambient noise, but yeah, it was scary. It was kind of scary. Okay, let's put that stuff in there. Now, screws. Um, we needed 25 screws in total. Let's take a look at that. That was the farm table? Yeah, okay, so now we need to craft tin cordage. Unfortunately, it won't let me just put cordage, I don't think. Yeah, see, I have to craft it. I shouldn't have to craft it if I already have it. Come on, game. Come on, man. All right, we need 10 of these. We can make 53. We just need 10. Shut up, zombie. Shut up. Guess we had to craft five cordage for something else, but this is the 10 cordage one. Okay, so we got that done. And now let's go back to here and make it a farm table. So we need to make the farm table and place the farm table. So farm table, F-A-R-M, farming table. Wait, what? Hold on, what am I missing? Making a farm table, okay. Farm table is a farmer's hub for producing seeds and resources. It's essential to build one. Okay, so gather the farming table, place the farming table. So I have to, oh, I have to unlock it from living off the land. Ooh, okay. We do have a point. So, uh, Let's go here, and living off the land is, is that the strength one? No, that's Master Shift. I think it's Fortitude. Okay. Craft seed, da, 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 and Yucca unlocks the hoe, iron hoe, and fishing rods. Oh, so we have to actually get to Farmer to do that. Son of a bitch, man. Um, <laughs> this is going to take forever. Oh my god. Um, okay, what does this do? Harvest two crops, craft seeds for for flowers, and uh, unlocks the iron hoe and fishing rods. Well, uh, now it's a question of what's the priority for, you know, for our um, perks. I mean, we need food. Food's been a constant problem since we've started this. You know, um, boy, I don't know, man. Okay, before we before we burn that point, let's see what else what else do we could we really use right at the moment. So lucky looter would be useful uh, for sure. None of the rest of that I I would say is essential right at the moment. So we have one point in sexual tyrannosaurus, and we have an effective point in strength so if we put another point in strength we could get the next level in this and master chef is yeah but you know master chef doesn't do us a damn bit of good until we have something we can actually cook with oh man okay fortitude we could put points into fortitude because we're gonna have to get it up to three to do farmer if we wanted to go the food route we got Flurry of Blows, Hidden Strike from the Shadows there. Advanced Engineering, that would be for vehicles. Action Skills, if we just... See, I, I kind of hesitate to put points into this because this stuff's going to kind of come naturally. So, well, what the hell, man? Let's just go the food route. Um, so I'm going to just put a point into... Uh, let's put a point into Living Off the Land. Then we'll pump fortitude to three so we can get farmers so we can make the farming table so we can finish this damn quest. Holy crap. Okay. Let's put the screws back there for now and the cordage that goes with it. And put that one on hold for a while. That can go in there. Okay. Now, let's go back to here and survival campfire. This is the one we need the twine for. Is there any possible way I can craft twine? I think I already looked. Yeah, see, it doesn't come up. <sighs> okay, so we're just going to have to loot it. Yeah, see, it's not something I can craft in my own inventory. Okay, well, let's keep looking. See, that th this is actually probably maybe one of our highest priorities to get that campfire going because then we can actually make stuff with it. Um, So, and again, I think trash is really our best bet for finding twine. I mean, where else would we look for it, you know? 
We've already been through the lower floors in this place. I suppose we could try and go upstairs. Let's let's actually move in this direction. Let's go on into an area that we haven't really been in yet and keep looking and keep doing trash. Nothing, you son of a... We can come back and get that cement later. I think it... I have a feeling like it's going to be a while before we can do anything with cement. There's something we can do in this little shed. You again, Steve? You're such a pain in the ass. All right. Let's try and soften these guys up a little bit before we knife them. Just to save our knife uh, durability a little more. He's probably dead. He's definitely dead now. He just needs to fall down. Seriously? There, I was going to say. All right, we just got somebody else's attention now. Marlene, damn it. Let me get this trash, Marlene, really quick. And we got a useless brass door now. Well, it's not useless, but it's just useless to us right now. All right, let's soften her up with a couple more arrows. Right in the cheek. Does that kind of make her cheeky? <laughs> okay. All right, four applications of bleed. You're dead. Anything in here? Uh, The Walking Dead, you, you used to really enjoy reading. Now you just wonder how many shotgun shells this will get you. Oh, yeah, okay, so we just scrapped that. Um, I'm not going to do those quests. Those of you who have been watching me for a while know I don't like the yellow quests. They just don't do much for me. Same thing, I guess we just scrap, because every time I try and use these, nothing happens. It's like they just go poof. Okay, let's hop in here and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Where is my axe? It is right here. Uh, I don't think we need the coffee and the soda on our toolbar. You know what we do should have as a bandage, though, in case we get a bleed out. But I don't have any cloth on me. There's a safe and a desk. Oh, look at that. All right, we'll take that. And this, we're just going to scrap a doodle. And then if we use this or read it, it should open up one or two more slots here. Two slots. Okay, good. That was a step in the right direction. I have five lock picks. Let's just see what happens. Got it. Okay. I'll take that. Cheerleader, leave us alone, please. Oh, there's a burner in there. All right, we're going to have to deal with her. Let's get her out here so we have room to maneuver. So now we have three blunder buses. Not supposed to be running. I'll shoot you in the boobs. Okay, she should be dead. Oh, I want my arrow back. Oh, excuse me. Give me my arrow back. Don't hit me. Okay. Is there food? Give me food. Give me food. Give me food. You son of a. Okay, there's a couple more things in here we can loot, so let's uh, go back in. We get nails from breaking the door, so it's worth doing. All right, how about a wrench? 
That is not a wrench. Come on, game. That's not a wrench either. There's a duffel bag up there, though. Sports bag. Riding sports bag. This has been in the game ever since... Ooh. Okay. Um, ever since seven... I've been playing seven days to die. Got some ink and some water. Some iron. Okay, so there's a burner in there. Let's check this dresser. We're just going to scrap that again. Okay, let's take the door apart for the nails, even though it's unlocked. Are you stuck, Arlene? Let's deal with her. Oh, I want to put my other blunderbuss down here. Let's do this. Okay, now we got three three shots in succession. If I can remember which damn keys to press next time we're in trouble. Oh, off with your head. It's a beautiful thing. How are we doing on our zombie kill count? Uh, 95 out of 125, so we have to kill 30 more. Getting there. We're getting there. Okay, can Burner get out of here besides the door? It doesn't look like it. So what we're going to do is barricade him in because I don't want him catching us on fire. That would not be good. And looks like we get a free... Headshot here. Nice. It's going to say, is he dead? Nope. Does anybody know why in, in this mod, the zombies and a lot of the other objects are so low res? Does anybody know what the reason for that is? Just curious. Come on, toilet pistol. No, nope, it just gives us shit every time. Can you imagine getting shit out of a toilet? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why would there be shit in a toilet? I'll take the bones. All right. Pick up the walking dead. That's kind of a cool poster, but don't have room for that kind of thing. It's more nails and wood. All right, well, we're done here, I think. I don't have a wrench to take that bed apart. Otherwise, we'd get some nice resources, but yeah. Um, And we're seriously uncovered. I mean, seriously. We never checked up there to see if there was any kind of fat loots, did we? Because, you know, we need to, we need more stuff in our inventory. We don't have enough. Um, Okay, It's now it's a question of how do we get up there? Because remember, we can't nerd pull. We could put that down there and jump up here and then jump up here, jump up here. Can't quite get up there. Oh, is it because that's in the way? Um, all right, here, let's go this way. Oh, there's a water thing up there. All right, any chance there's something behind these things? There is a chance there's something behind these things. Come on, munitions. Give us some... I don't know. Give us something. MREs. I'll take those. In fact, I'm going to take those right now. Possibly both of them. In fact, yeah, we, we're going to... We, yeah, we need both of them. Okay, that's going to help tremendously with our food. It's going to get our food up to... Almost uh, back to, to normal. I mean, back to, like, fully uh, done, you know? Okay, let's go check this water cooler thing. Oh, there's a weapons bag up here, too. Okay, I can't quite get up here. So we should be able to put one frame down. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
if we go uh, here, let's jump back down here for a second so let's put a frame there it's very interesting not having the ability to nerd pull I kind of like it though I mean it makes you have to think about things a little more differently all right what's in here nothing you son of a okay give us something good weapons bag I'm glad I came back here man we were just about ready to leave a blue blunderbuss and a pretty decent bone ship. Okay, yeah. That gives us four blunderbusses to put on our toolbar. So let's see here. Um, we're going to put this one here. We're going to put that one there. This one here. This one here. This one here. That's four shots we can get off in succession now if we get into trouble, which we will because we always do. That's loaded. That's loaded. That's loaded. Perfecto. Okay, uh, let's see use this better bone shiv is there anything we can sacrifice because we are freaking heavy man uh, let's make let's turn those into bandages so we can keep those on our toolbar for bleeds because we know we're going to get that stuff too all right what else what could we sacrifice we could risk drinking this we're good okay <laughs> we made it work we made it work um, three things of iron's not really doing much for us. Let's get rid of that. Do, 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 do. And I don't think I want to get rid of anything else. Uh, but that gets us down to 11 encumbrance, which is bad, but not as bad. Oh, not as bad as it was. Okay, our food's good. We're going to save this for later. Beautiful. Okay, well, guys, I think we are out of time for this episode. Uh, it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to go back to the base, drop stuff off, and then we'll probably just start up the next episode on this day because we still have plenty of daylight left. And what we have to do, of course, is continue looking for uh, twine. And what is it? We need more beer, we need twine, and we need duct tape. So that's kind of where we're at. I'm not going to mess with that guy right now. So, yeah, I'm going to just make my work my way back home. And, um, I'll, like I said, I'll start up the next episode um, on this day. And then we'll go out again and continue looking for stuff and continue advancing these quests as best as we can. Campfire is really important. we got to get that sucker going. Uh, what is it that we're needing again for the campfire? This is what we need the twine for. Right, okay. Because, you know, then that's going to hopefully open up a little bit better food options for us. It'd help us, you know, survive better in that regard. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at all, and it does help the channel greatly. Appreciate it. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, share out the video, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.